Welcome back to the Genesis Cloud Administrator training course. In this module, we will navigate you through the admin interface and dive into configuring the organization settings. Let's get started. In this module, we will help familiarize you with the admin interface. We also take a look at the admin settings. Always remember, the best way to get comfortable with the interface is to practice, practice, practice. The Genesis Cloud Admin Interface is where you will go to find the task you want to perform. In this module, we will give some high-level information. In later modules, we will explore the individual settings within each menu. You can either scroll through the different links or type in what you are looking for in the search bar at the top. Account Settings allows administrators to view current and historical Genesis Cloud usage information, including users, devices, and resources as well as access advanced administrative settings for your Genesis cloud organization. Under People and Permissions, you can add people to your organization, edit profiles, assign roles and permissions, manage pairings between organizations, and use divisions to separate and group configuration objects. Permissions allow users to do various tasks, such as create groups, set up integrations, and supervise contact center activity. Use directory features to manage groups, work teams, locations, profiles, and external contacts. Use the integration features to set up integrations, data actions, as well as set up and implement single sign-on, create and manage OAuth credentials, and see authorized applications. Genesis Cloud's Documents feature enables you to store, organize, and share all types of files securely with your fellow Genesis Cloud users. Telephony is the set of features that administrators use to set up Genesis Cloud communications. Genesis Cloud offers three telephony connection options to provide convenience and flexibility. Simplify your implementation by using Genesis Cloud Voice, a comprehensive contact center solution that includes telephony service provided by Genesis. For additional interoperability between Genesis Cloud and third-party devices, or to retain your existing carrier service, Choose a Bring Your Own Carrier option. Genesis Cloud Voice is where you will manage your Genesis Cloud Voice numbers. Contact Center is where you will configure a number of things, from skills, queues, wrap-up codes, routing, CAN responses, analytics, and agent assist to scripts and email. Under Architect is where you will go to manage the call flows and prompts and store data locally in data tables for use in Architect and manage flow outcomes and milestones. Routing includes the set of features that administrators use to set up Genesis Cloud Routing. Use routing features to create schedules, configure call and message routing, plan for emergencies and disconnect interactions that may have become stuck. View detailed and overall metrics on API usage and in turn reduce unnecessary API calls and subscription charges. When looking to troubleshoot various issues, the Audit Viewer enables you to filter and see various events that Genesis Cloud generates based on service actions for administrative functions. With an outbound, campaign management, commonly referred to as Dialer, is where you can set up and manage automated outgoing calls. You will also be able to set up lists, contactable time sets, call analysis, rules, and outbound settings. Within Quality is where you will set up encryption keys, add interaction recording policies, and manage the recordings. Let's start reviewing account settings. Under account settings, subscription allows you to see how many licenses your organization is using for the current and past months. By selecting the Download Usage Report button, you are also able to download the usage report. After clicking the button, a box will appear, allowing you to select either usage data or cloud voice. After selecting the date range, click the Download or Generate button and a CSV of the data will download to your computer. You can disregard the Genesis add-ons as that is deprecated and all add-ons now live within App Foundry, which will be covered later in this course along with the integrations section. App Foundry is a marketplace of solutions that offers Genesis customers the most useful solution-centered marketplace for all Genesis platforms in a single location. Organization settings allow you to enable or disable voicemail, disable location detection, manage invite links, change the default language, and specify a domain. You can also add an email address destination for user submitted issues and see audits for administrative functions in the audit log viewer. Within organization settings, there are more tabs to configure your org. The organization details tab displays the company name, short name, as well as the organization ID. You are only able to change the company name on this page. 
Under the Settings tab and within the Global Settings, turn Geolocation Detection on or off across the organization. Geolocation Detection automatically displays users' location information for users who choose to share their current location. When you turn off Geolocation Detection, Genesis Cloud does not display the location information for any users in the organization. Default language is for notification emails, such as invitations to the organization and reset password links. This setting does not override the personal settings of organization members. Default country code is the country code that Genesis Cloud uses when you add phone numbers. By default, this value is United States. The issue reporting email address is configured for who receives suggestions and concerns about Genesis Cloud at your company. If no email is supplied, Genesis Cloud sends the email to anyone in your org who has the admin role assigned. Just below Global Settings, the Onboarding People section are settings for invite links used to add people to your organization. Auto Invite, when on, automatically sends invites by default when adding people. Admins can still turn it off on a case-by-case -case basis. When off, turns Auto Invite off by default and allows admins to select it on a case-by-case -case basis. Open Admission, when on, enables the current invite link. Turning from off to on also creates a new link. When off disables the current invite link permanently. Within the allowed email domains, it allows you to specify the email address domains that a person must use to create a new Genesis Cloud account when responding to a sign-up link. Within the telephony section, toggling free seating off or on determines whether offline agents assigned stations are freely available to use. Turning off voicemail PIN will turn off the requirement that org members must enter a PIN to access voicemail. The timeout seconds is the number of seconds a non-ACD interaction will alert a user before rolling over to voicemail. The default is 18 seconds. The maximum voicemail length allows you to set how long a voicemail can be in whole minutes. The default is 3 minutes. In Default Text to Speech Engine, select a default text to speech engine and optionally override the default voice per language. The default is Genesis. To access additional third-party engines, they will need to first obtain the engine in App Foundry. Within the Contact Center section, enabling the strip skills on blind transfer will allow an agent to make a blind transfer to a different queue and the required agent skills are removed. The agent can then pick up the transferred interaction in the targeted queue, even if the second agent does not have the same skills as the previous agent. Stripping skills from the agent requirements prevents interactions from getting stuck and abandoned. As an administrator, you can specify that all queue routing methods use changes in an agent's presence to reset the ACD routing score. With each presence change, the agent's internal routing score resets, placing the agent at the back of the queue. When the agent logs in and goes on queue, their score resets and the counter begins running to determine when the next interaction routes to them. Enabling the enforced communication level after call work will set the after call work at the communication level instead of the participant level. Enabling the route email to multiple destinations will allow an inbound email to route to multiple queues based on the email addresses within the two and CC fields. Some customers or partners may have the ability to upload files without first scanning them for viruses and malware as a security vulnerability. In line with this concern, a Genesis Cloud Administrator can disable file uploading in chat at the organization level. In addition, a Genesis Cloud Administrator can withhold a permission to prevent users from using documents. As an administrator, you can set the number of chat message retention days between 10 and 3,650 days. Enabling HIPAA requires Genesis Cloud to get involved. This setting is required for compliance with the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. Check with your organization to see if this setting is needed. Under Voicemail Notifications, if your org has HIPAA enabled, the Allow PII in Email Notifications is disabled. Enabling this will allow voicemails to be sent via email to users in the org. Enabling voicemail transcriptions will include written transcriptions of voicemails in email notifications for voicemails. The transcriptions within an email apply only to communicate or non-ACD voicemails. The transcriptions do not appear in the Genesis Cloud voicemail box. If your org is going to be receiving faxes, you can enable fax notifications and users will be able to get notified of faxes. If HIPAA is enabled, this is disabled. PCI DSS is required if you're going to be handling payment cardholder data. This is another setting that needs Genesis involvement. 
Administrators can optionally enable a security setting to prevent external websites from embedding an instance of their Genesis Cloud organization in an iframe. This feature combats clickjacking, a malicious technique that redirects a user to a website under the attacker's control. Enabling this feature could cause Genesis Cloud integrations, Genesis Cloud apps, and any other application or integration that embeds Genesis Cloud into an iframe, whose domain is not listed in allowed embeddable domain, to be unusable. Adding IP addresses to the allowed IP addresses setting will only allow users coming from the IP addresses you add to access Genesis Cloud. When Enforce Scopes is on, your organization will require approval for OAuth scopes requested by third-party applications. When Rollbackful is on, Genesis Cloud will auto-assign new permissions to default roles when new features are released. When off, an administrator must manually assign the new permissions to the default roles. You can enforce division awareness in organizations for admins who assign divisions to user roles. The Division Aware Role Management setting ensures that admins must have a role that is scoped to the division that they are assigning to a user role. Administrators can set Genesis Cloud to log out users automatically after a specified period of inactivity. After the user logs back in, they return to the same page they were on before Genesis automatically logged them out. Customers sometimes require control over logging on to manage their workforce and to prevent unauthorized access. Set requirements for passwords used to sign on to Genesis Cloud or configure Genesis to use a single sign-on identity provider. Finally, status management is where you can find all of the different status options and create a new secondary status. A status communicates information about a user's availability and activities to other Genesis Cloud users. To recap, this module was designed to give you information about the different sections within the admin interface and deep dive into the organization settings. Hopefully, this has given you a little more insight into setting up your organization's global settings. Mastering this is essential to getting your org off the ground and set up correctly. As we went through each configuration item briefly, you start to see how important understanding and comprehending the interface is. As we explore more in later modules, you will begin to see how all of these different configuration items come together. Thank you for completing Module 2. On Module 3, we will discuss user profiles, roles, permissions, and access control. See you there.